My name's Sarah and I'm one of the Super Sisters and today I wanted to share my story with you. When I was 20 years old, I got accepted into UCLA and for me that meant a big move to LA and I started severely counting calories to the point where I was eating a thousand calories a day because I thought going to live in LA and I need to look the part. I gotta look like an LA girl. I have to, you know, growing up in the Midwest, I thought I needed to be really, really skinny and have that model figure to be popular and to fit in when I moved to LA. So I had started counting calories. I literally counted every piece of food that went into my mouth. I kept a running log in my head all day long. I never wrote anything down, but I would obsess about it in my head and keep all the numbers in my head. And I could only eat a thousand calories a day. And if, you're, if you don't know, that's what a baby needs to survive. And I was a 20 year old girl and I was only eating a thousand calories a day while I was exercising over an hour a day. And I got to the point where I was 110 pounds and I'm 5'6", so that was severely underweight for my height. So much so that my whole family was afraid and constantly was worried about me because you could see my spine sticking out of my back. I was so thin and so frail. You know, we all see the beautiful pictures, magazines, and all over the internet now. And I thought that I needed to look like that in order to be happy. I truly thought if I lose five more pounds and I get to that 105 pounds, then I'll be happy. Then I'll be satisfied with my body. Then I will be able to do what I want with my life. And so often that's portrayed in all forms of media that you have to look a certain way to be happy, you have to dress a certain way to be happy, you have to look a certain way to have the lifestyle, the, all the dreams, the goals, everything you want in your life. After counting calories for such a long time, I totally rebounded and for three years had cycles of starving myself and binge eating and everything in between. And Three and a half years into it, I said, enough is enough. I don't want the rest of my life to be controlled by these numbers. I don't want the rest of my life to be controlled by food. I don't want the rest of my life to be missed experiences. I don't want the rest of my life to be like this. And I just said, this is it. I have to find an answer. I have to find a solution so that I can overcome this and teach other women how to do the same thing because you are more than just a number. You're more than the jean size that you wear. You're more than what you weigh. You're more than the things that you eat. As soon as I started viewing fitness as something to connect my mind and my body, and instead of it being about the way that I looked and the way that my body looked, it was about the way that I felt. And when you change that perspective, working out is no longer a struggle. If you miss a workout, you don't beat yourself up about it. I'm the healthiest I've ever been, the fittest I've ever been, the happiest I've ever been. I feel the best I've ever felt. And trust me, you can have that too. Being healthy is about taking care of yourself. It's about radiating happiness. It's about being comfortable with who you are because who you are is so incredible and the things that you are capable of doing are more than you can ever imagine. And all of it starts with believing in yourself believing that you can do this, no matter where you're at in your journey, no matter how much you struggled, we can do this together.